this week we look at uh, predictions uh, measuring goodness of fit and s several modeling issues like rescaling x rescaling y and choosing a different functional forms so now we want to explore this in R so here's the R code so let me set the working directory and load the data look at the summary so the data contains two variables foot exp foot uh, expenditure which is our y dependent variable income which is our x explanatory variables so that's the summary statistics of these two variables so let's estimate a simple linear regression model where foot exp expenditure foot expenditure is a linear function of income so this code run the OLS regression then get results to an object called model 1 and then do a summary summarize this model and generate another object called s dot model one so let's run the code so here's the equation results so income is the estimate of beta 2 b2 here the point estimate is 10.210 with standard error estimate, standard deviation of 2. The intercept, the constant is 83.416 um, with a standard error of 43.41. The corresponding t value, which is this point estimate divided by the standard error, is this. And we can see that, okay, this, for example, for B2, the t value, t stat, is 4.877 called associate p-value which is very small less than say let's choose a confident level of significance say alpha e equal to five percent less than five percent so we can conclude that uh, this we can conclude that we will reject the now hypothesis that beta 2 is equal to zero at the five percent level okay uh, so we can also the point estimate of uh, beta 2 is 10.21 we can also compute uh, the 95 percent confidence interval doing this interval estimation rather than point estimation so this using this command so the input is more than one the regression result So it reports the confidence interval, the 95% confidence interval for both the constant um, beta 1 and the beta 2, the slope of the income. Okay, let's do the prediction. Suppose we want to forecast if income is $2,000, weekly income is $2,000 per household, which means income take a value of 20. Remember that the unit of this variable is $100. So we can use this code uh, predict from the result. Remember, this is our regression and data. Let's input data. We want income to be 20. We want R to calculate confidence both both the point prediction also interval prediction with a label of 95 percent 
and put the results into an object called print PRED foot expenditure and show it. So let's run it. So now we know that given that the income is $2,000, then the predicted foot expenditure is 280.60 in line dollars. This, this is the individual point predictions and it's 95 percent interval interval prediction is 259 point from lower bound is from 258.9069 to, to the upper bound 316.3108 and this we can see that this bound is actually this interval is quite wide uh, which could be due to something that we are missing some important variables here. Okay, that's the prediction. Uh, let's look at R square. So, actually, the regression results report R square directly, which means we can use this to measure the goodness of fit, which is 0.385. Uh, we can let's show let's show this. I'll put it one more time. So that's point three eight five. Now let's rescale x and y and see how the regression results change. So let us change the unit of food expenditure to one hundred dollar. Previously, previously is a dollar right food expenditure income is in one hundred dollar. So now we want the food expenditure this variable to have a unit of one hundred dollar as well. So and run the regression. So that's this code. Oops, okay, let me just get rid of this. We don't need this one. So the uh, dependent variable is food expenditure um, divided by 100. So scale it, sc change the unit uh, against the income. And data come from this object. And I'll put the results into an object called model 2 summarize it show it on the screen this one the code uh, we should compare this output this is with where the food dependent variable food expenditure it has a unit of $100 with this up this output where the dependent variable food expenditure has a unit of dollar and we can see the change the the point estimate becomes smaller by a factor of 100 similarly for the standard error that because both the point estimate and the standard error become smaller by a factor of 100 the ratio T value, T stand doesn't change. And everything else does not change. Okay. Now, let's test normality whether the residuals. So after the estimation, we can predict the residuals and test for whether this residuals is normally distributed or not. So we will get a residual from model 1 which is linear model foot expenditure foot expenditure is a linear function of income where the unit of foot expenditure is dollar unit of income is $100 so this code obtain a residual from model 1 then doing Jackie Beta tests so now we actually need uh, need an, a package called T-series and you should know that in my R studio here uh, it is saying that package T-series required but it's not installed so let's install this if you have already installed you don't need to re reinstall it but let's install this
and obtain residuals then call after we install the package we need to call for a corresponding library so let's do it and then we can call this jack, jack beta tests We can see that the, t the value of test statistics, which is uh, 0.06334, uh, this, this test statistic is under the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the residuals um, have a, is normally distributed, standard normally distributed. Then it, the, the Judge Beta test statistics is chi square distributed with degree of freedom 2. So here we can look at the p-value. So p-value is very high, 0.9688, and let's set our level significance alpha to be 0.05. So now this p-value is bigger than uh, 0.05. So we are gonna the decision is fail to reject the null hypothesis of normality with a level significance five percent. All right, let's plot. So we have we predict this residual after the regression. So let's plot residuals against income. So this e hat against income, and in this plot we're gonna add a horizontal lines, okay, around the zero. So this is wrong it. So uh, we, we actually can see some, sort of, some evidence of what is called heteroscatasticities, which we will address later on. So if, say, income is less than 18, then we can see that the spread out of these points is kind of smaller than income is at a high level. So the, the, the the variance of error terms is likely to depend on the level income. Okay, so we have some evidence of heteroscatasticity here. Okay, so let's uh, plotting the residuals. Uh, let's now estimate a linear log model, and the code is quite simple. So. Just LM foot expenditure against log income, dollar line income with the same data and store the results into an object called model three, summarize, summarize this model and this do the result. And this is the the equation output.